Okay, people, YouTubers, uh, hot riders, whoever. This is a 5.3 uh, GMC Vortec motor, and uh, it developed the old uh, engine knock. You know, the, what it really is is the clacking valve sounds on the front of the uh, motor, you know. Number one and number two cylinders seem to be making the sound that the, uh, a lot of the people on YouTube are complaining about they're trying to cure, you know. So I decided what I'd do is make a, a, in three steps, see if I couldn't get rid of the problem without going into a little surgery on a motor, okay? So what I did in this first step is I had, uh, I was about time for an engine oil change about uh, 500 miles ago, so I went ahead and said, well, I wouldn't hurt to put another thousand because I changed the last oil at 322, it's up to 325 now, and that's 325,000. Hold on, there's a car pass. So anyway, uh, at uh, 325, I'm deciding to uh, change the oil. What I've done about uh, a week ago is I decided to try the little trick of putting the uh, a quart of transmission fluid. I was down about a quart of oil, so I decided I'd put a quart of transmission fluid in, see if that'd do a good job about washing the motor out. Uh, the uh, I figure this, if I rode it around, you know, it's like it's soaking a frying pan. It's got uh, food burn in it. I figured riding around with the uh, uh, transmission fluid, which has a lot of detergers in it, you know, that scrub the motor. I figured uh, if I ran around for about a week with it, with uh, a cleaner inside of my motor, and see, by riding around with the detergers in it, it would soften up those things, like you know, sort of like a frying pan that's got food burn on it. It would soften up the deposits and put them back into the oil so I could, when I changed my oil, I could drain them out. Now, that's not all of... Uh, of what I'm gonna do, uh, but uh, let's start the motor up and you can listen to it and see if that knock's gone or if it's decreased or whatever. Let me start the motor up. psychosomatic or what but uh I don't seem to be hearing the knock <coughs> or it's a lot less anyway uh, I just drank some coca-cola and coughing uh, anyway uh, the uh, the knock sound doesn't seem to be as loud you know but I'm not finished with it hold on let me cut the motor and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do Now, uh, the uh, transmission uh, fluid seems to have done a little bit of effect. I figure it's washed a good bit of material out. Now, next, what I'm going to do is this material right here. This is uh, gunk mo synthetic motor flush, you know, for diesel, gas, and turbocharged engines, okay? What I'm going to do is when I get about a day or two before I get ready to change the oil, which might be this week, I'm going to show you how to do a precision oil change, plus in doing that, I'm going to put this stuff in the motor the day before. I'm going to start it up and run it for about five minutes. Let it sit for a couple hours and in the evening, I'm going to get it good and warm, start it up and run it. I'm not going to rev it up and I'm just going to uh, run it here in the yard. Then uh, let it sit overnight. Okay, remember the old frying pan I was telling you about? I figure if I leave this stuff, rather than let, they tell you put it in the motor, let it run for five minutes and drain it, no. You should let it soak so that it, uh, you know, it uh, works some of the anything that's stuck in there loose. You see this gunk stuff, so so that anything's in there is loose. You see, and it flushes out all that stuff. What you're after is to clean out your lifter orifices. You know, it's the little holes in the lifter that your oil pass through. Anyway, uh, this uh, uh, I'm gonna put the motor flush in twice the night before, warming it up both times to uh, circulate the stuff through the motor. Next morning, I'm going to get up and do the same thing. 
probably do it twice during the day. Just let it run for five minutes at a time. That should wash everything out of the motor. Then in the evening, I'm going to go ahead and uh, change oil in it. We'll see how it works and see if it makes it even quieter. So uh, like I say, it'll be about probably another three or four days before I do this. And I'm not going to, I ain't really got a lot of places to go. So I'm just going to leave it sit here with the, still with the transmission fluid in it. And uh, it's been soaking all this week. I've been driving. I drove it, I drove this truck twice to New Orleans and uh, all around town, uh, put uh, probably three, four hundred miles on it and uh, with transmission fluid in it, you know. So it ought to be good, uh, everything ought to be good and mixed up and washed out. But as a double protection, I'm going to use this stuff. When I get done, I'm hoping that I don't hear the engine knock at all anymore, you know. And I'm going to refill it with the correct kind of oil. I think that uh, most of what the problem is, and most of these motors you see that have got this problem, is these new motors are engineered for synthetic oil by the fact that they have smaller orifices in things like the lifters, you know. So uh, if I swap it back to full synthetic, after I get done, it should be back where it was. Where the problem comes in, these people, oh, I need a quart of oil. So they run into some place like the dollar store, grab some of that old crap oil, you know, garbage oil, and put it in there, you know. And uh, sure, it's good oil, but if this is not an old-timey, 5.7 Chevrolet. This is one of the new version uh, of Vortec motors, you know. So we want to uh, wash out all that paraffin and stuff that comes through other oils and go back. And the easiest way to do it is use this uh, motor flush will wash everything out. When I go back, I'm going to put fresh, good filters on it and uh, uh, fresh synthetic oil. I think we'll be back in business. But I'll let you know after I change you all. Anyway, this is Dino at Dino's Workshop with another one of his own ongoing projects. Trying to save a few dollars and a little, a uh, whole lot of effort, you know. Uh, Y'all come on back, subscribe and uh, share and all that kind of stuff, you know. And come on back. I'm always doing something that's going to be a part of your life, you know. And changing oil is uh, uh, every every guy on planet Earth needs to change oil in his car. And you need to learn how to specify the kind of oil to go in your car. It's made for for synthetic oil. Use a full synthetic oil. The engine will last longer. And it'll pay you back in the long run. Okay. Anyway, let me go. I got to get back to work. Okay. Drop on by Dino's Workshop. Adios.